I'm Jackie Fullerton. We are live at the Brandywell. It's another European night. They've done so well this year. And are they looking for a big result tonight? I think they've got it. I think there's a surprise. Here's Robin Elliott. Thank you, Jackie. But no, you're not in the Brandywell, Jackie. The nurse Where is coming for you. Don't worry. No, you're here in the Millennium Forum tonight at the Big Buzz Awards for a very special night. And you've got a surprise award that you didn't think you were going to get. You've picked up the big one tonight. They all say that. <laughs> No, a lifetime I mean, achievement a award. Lifetime achievement. I, I really, I'm speechless. I'm so pleased, and I think a lifetime achievement. That's a long time, isn't it? Uh, and as I said in my little acceptance speech when I cobbled it together, when they give you something like this, it means you're very old and you're very knackered. But what kept you, Robin? <laughs> I've I've known I was this good for so many years. <laughs> no, I am really, really pleased, and I'm very proud. And I know my wife, Linda, who sadly couldn't be here tonight, my three sons, Darren, Nikki, and Gareth, and their partners, and my grandchildren, the twins, Jack and Aaron, will be very pleased for their granda. And it means a lot to me, I'm serious. All right, now to follow this award as well, there's a book coming out soon as well, isn't there? Yes, uh, I'm very pleased, and I should have mentioned that when I was up making <laughs> my acceptance speech, but I was uh, a little bit surprised. It's written by Roger Anderson, and... Uh, I got a couple of people who are journalistically minded uh, and they think and I believe that Roger has done a very good job and they, they said to me uh, Roger has really captured me uh, and as they read it they could almost hear me saying that and you having watched me broadcasting whether that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> I'm not that sure but no uh, seriously uh, I have to tell you Robin that writing the book or talking into a tape for Roger to put it into shape uh, it was a very, very strange experience, and people think, oh, it's an ego trip, and yes, there's ego involved in it, but uh, there were highs and there were lows. I mean, uh, I remember I was close to tears a few times when I talked about my late mother, Martha, and my late father, Jack, and you're looking back to your childhood and you think of your aunts and uncles and all that sort of thing. So uh, it wasn't an easy experience, and you know, I got a copy of the book, uh, oh, a couple of weeks ago, and I read two chapters because I was doing a radio interview about the book and I thought I'd better look through what the chapters are to remind me of what's in it. And I write about George Best and Alex Ferguson, Martin and Neil, etc., etc. Uh, and uh, I put it down. I haven't read any of it since. And you think that you would read it cover to cover yes, yes. because, oh, it's about me. Yes, yes. But it's not like that. It's, it's very surreal and it's hard to explain. And I would be very fond of myself, you know. <laughs> well, we look forward to the book. And as you said, you are very fond of yourself. And you're very, and you're very fond as well of singing to us. And me and you have, have tread the boards together on, all around the countryside, haven't we? We have trod the boards. And uh, funny enough, I said my, uh, when I was presenting an award tonight, the last time I was here, I was singing on the stage as Dean Martin as part of the Rat Pack, which, as you yeah. say, you present it. 11 Peaks Orchestra. A lot of people, particularly the football fans, they give me stick about my voice. And, uh, oh, Jackie, you're not going to sing again. But I think I can sing a wee bit. And I love people like, well, I was Dean Martin as part of that, and Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra. But I was Dean Martin. And I have loved those songs because of my vintage and my age. And to have an 11-piece orchestra, it was great. And we traveled the province. We did about seven gigs. And I know you enjoyed them. But uh, we enjoyed them once we get over our nerves and so on. <laughs> so this is why I've got this, because I can sing as well, you know. All right, well, Jackie, to close the show, will you give us a little blast of Dino? How I long to hear the organ in the chapel in the moonlight. I don't know that one. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. That's enough because you're not paying me, Robin. Oh, that's very important. I know that. Jackie, thank you so much and well done. Congratulations once again thank on the award. Thank you. Seriously, I'm very proud. Thank you very much.